behalf of the Secretariat and the International Advisory Group of Musawa, I bid you a warm welcome to the first ever Musawa Outreach Strategy Meeting. This is actually the first big meeting that we've had since um, the launch of the global movement last year in February in Kuala Lumpur. There are also some new faces, um, which is always a good thing because it means that Musawa is growing. How would the world be different if there was equality and justice in the family? Well, I think the world would be very much different if there is uh, justice in family laws. Um, you know, the responsibilities and the burdens that uh, women face will be definitely less because uh, now they play a triple role. They are responsible of uh, the, the house, the children, they are also responsible of working outside and getting enough money. We've been told since we were uh, children that this is what we should be doing. And if we don't do that, that means we are bad women. About the changing of family law, and then we could do some uh, strategy how to develop a plan together. If there is justice in the world, then it will be distributed equally. Then burdens will be put away from women. The world will be a better place to live in. We would be living as just as the prophet envisioned it, envisioned it to be, that there would be justice, equality between the sexes. You too can. <laughs> <laughs> The one change you would make, if you could, in family law and practice? Family law, yes, is to have a family law in the first place. Get the minimum age of marriage introduced immediately. Mm -hmm. How can a movement like Musawa help with something like this? It would help a lot. It will raise the knowledge. It will give us the solidarity. I can't be wrong. If all these women are with me, we are both together, so they must be. This is right. What I'm doing is right. I think the movement began even before Musawa started. You know, because we are all doing this work in isolation. And I think what Musawa is doing is just to bring them all together. We know what the problems are. We know what the challenges are. But how do we move forward? And the thing is, I think people felt we can't move forward on our own. We have to move forward together. This is about a movement and not a one-off international conference. Since the global meeting last year, the International Advisory Group, which leads Musawa, has been very busy in taking Musawa forward. We have decided to focus in three key areas of work, knowledge building, international advocacy and outreach. This meeting is very important as we're bringing together 31 Musawa advocates from 16 countries from Africa, the Middle East, Southeast Asia, Central Asia and the West to work out ways in which we in different parts of the Muslim world can work together to spread the Musawa message of equality and justice in the family. In the next four days until Friday, we will then try to focus on strategy, on activities, and how we want to strengthen all this uh, process, become really the real power they want to change some things. You come to this meeting, feeling that great. Yeah. Now is the time that we can actually translate this dream into an actual plan. That together, every single one of us, we go back home to our countries knowing that my sister in Malaysia, my sister in Australia, my sister in uh, Africa, I know what she's going to do. She knows what I'm going to do. We have a plan together and we are going to change the world. The building of movement, turning it into more a social movement, outreach, is the tool of making that reality. You don't have to write for that. Oh, okay. Is this what the workshop is? Yes, yes. Well, it's going to be decided. <laughs>
gather both men and women to agree to amend the Muslim family law, specifically raise uh, the age of marriage. So this is a big list of the things to do and create debate and discussion online, particularly amongst Muslims. In the regional level, the regional outreach meetings will also take place once a year, where national focal points and advocates meet to share progress and activities around Mosawa's goals and suggest new activities and strategies to be taken up by Mosawa. We agree that our principle is to have decisions made in a consultation manner with transparency. We talk about regional and thematic focal points, regional based on uh, geography, and then uh, thematic based on certain topics. Yeah. And linking us all together still is yet another level of communication that goes around between uh, the clusters of the focal points and back and forth. Regarding the timeline, that uh, at least will be from now until 2012, an annual intermediate course uh, and uh, at least one local primary level to be conducted at the different regions. And advanced training, anyway, is planned after the intermediate training. And youth is going to be involved at every level of it at the production of knowledge with the lived reality and also at the legal one and uh, at the theological and theory. And we have youth as scholars involved. Okay, can we all go back to our groups, please? We're going to send that research to you for you again to give us feedback so that we can incorporate this input from you into the report that we will finalize and present to the pseudo committee in October. How best we can deal with these arguments by the government, by the pseudo committee, within the Musawa framework. So the arguments at the Islamic level, the arguments at the human rights level, the arguments at the constitutional level, and the arguments at the live realities level. We're going to submit thematic reports for each country that's reporting, so that we can continue the work with you um, you know, when your government's report, like Tunisia is reporting in October. Okay, thanks very much to the group. Excellent time. By 2013, I hope the achievement of Musawa would be as monumental as the pyramids. It can pass the test of time. Yeah. Was Shadi, she had a smile on her face and she said, Iran has abolished the practice of stoning, so that's why it's... Diva, Roya, and Hatun, the presidents of their countries, yes, yes. And these are Musawa members. There are so many. Ah, show their happiness in the This is the sun shining on all of us in Musawa because we're on the right path. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the bird because we feel free, we feel strong. We, we can put their dreams right. and songs. By 2013, <laughs> look at the Musawa Library. Oh. You know, oh. Musawa, the Musawa Tafsir, the Musawa Fiqh, the Musawa Fatalam, the Musawa Fatwa, everything Musawa. They accepted the yeah. Muslim yeah. harmonious yeah. family is no polygamy. No child marriage, no forced marriage. The dream is like a flower that grows and the crescent yeah. becomes a full moon. moon. Ah. So we're just going to pass the evaluation form. We really, really grateful if you can fill them in. It's not going to take too long. Thank you so much. 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 Thank you Thank you so much. Thank you so you so much. Thank 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 you so much. date for the global meeting, 13th to 17th February 2013.